I have been sent this yummy palette from Suku. It's a 20th anniversary palette and I thought it was quite nice autumnal tones. I'm going to do a look using this palette and other makeup but this is my inspiration. I'm going to start with a little bit of NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to whack that over my eyelids. This is in a lighter colour just because I want to lift the eyelids up a little bit. Mostly in there and then I'll use the rest to kind of blend throughout the lid. This one is in 2.5 Cream Brulee. And I'm going to take a brush just to blend that across the lid. So it just gives me a nice bit of coverage over my eyelid. Most of the product is in the corner where I need the lift. And then I'm using what's left on the brush just to even out the rest of the lid. Let's go straight in with the palette. This one looks creamy, so I'm going to take that one and pop that over the lid. Hmm, it's more yellowy than I expected it to come out. Mmm, don't like that. <laughs> so now I've put that on and I don't really like that colour. I need to be careful because the pigment's going to be really strong on these. I'm going to go in with this one. As a Oh, that looks really nice. Maybe this could be a Halloween pumpkin makeup because I feel a bit like a pumpkin. Pumpkin spice. Let's go in with this one. I'm going to take it along the lash line and then a little bit out here and bring it back. Back in my 217. Just soften that. This one. In here, I expected, oh, they all come out so pigmented. I expected to like this a lot more than I do at the moment, but I think I can save it. I really believe I can. I gotta believe. I'm gonna use this Lisa Eldred Seamless, I can't say it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I've tried this three times. I'm gonna use this Lisa Eldred Seamless Glide Eye Pencil in Burnt Umber. Got it. And I want to use that along my lash line as well. That's very, very soft and lovely. I'm going to take that in my waterline as well, both top and bottom. I'm going to take that same MAC 239 that I used before. Just smudge that. Sets quite quickly. This Lisa Eldridge pencil is gorgeous. I have this weird thing with all of her products that I save them because I don't want to use them like I've still got them in the boxes and they were sent quite a while ago I just really know I'm going to like her products so I don't want to use them is that the most nuts thing ever I love this someone was telling me about it yesterday I was doing a press event and one of the ladies was like have you tried the Lisa Eldridge pencils and I was like no but I have them why have I, why have I saved them always do I actually do it with clothes as well. I buy something new and then I think, oh, I'll save that for a special occasion. And then I don't wear it. I need to start. N there is never a special occasion. I never go to anything that special. So just wear the clothes. Let's put mascara on and see how we're getting on. I've got the Victoria Beckham Vast Lash, just because it's to hand. I used it in a video the other day on Instagram, so to be on my desk. Let's do skin and then we can come back to the eyes. I've got NARS Night Swan. This is the light reflecting eye brightener. I'm going to pop that on just in the corner where I get my darkness. Brighten my eyes. I don't know what accent that was. It wasn't really an accent. It was just I need your help with what to watch next. Me and Ian have just, we've got half an hour left of the new season of Sex Education, which I really haven't enjoyed. I don't think it was very good. I think they tried to tick too many boxes and it was all everywhere. Um, I'm currently watching something that I'm really enjoying. It's not aimed at my age group. It's a, I, I like to watch teen things, I think. Um, it is called, but it's really good. Uh, well, I'm enjoying it anyway. Um, everything Now. And it's about a girl that's got an eating disorder, disorder. Now I've never had an eating disorder, but I think it's really good. I'm really enjoying the things that I wouldn't have known. 
So I'm, I'm very much enjoying that, but I need something new to watch. If you haven't watched Blackbird on Apple TV, it's so good with Taryn Egerton. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of this NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This one is in the color Vienna. Again, I just happened to use this in another video, so it's on my desk. So let's pop it here. And these eyes are quite heavy, so I don't want a too heavy foundation, because that's just not how I roll. Real Techniques setting brush to buff that in and to also help blend my NARS eye brightener that's under the eyes. I cannot speak today. What is wrong with me? No, you just have days like that where you can't put a conversation together. I think it's because I was doing back-to-back -back makeups on press yesterday. I think I used every bit of brain and chat that I have on offer. Goes a long way, that foundation. Just gonna leave that foundation to work into the skin. Move on to the brows. This is Hourglass Arch in Soft Brunette. Oh, I broke it. Oh, I just want that little spoolie. Now, I don't know what's been going on, but my brows seem to be growing back better. I've not been using anything because, as far as I was concerned, the brow follicle was dead, so any of those brow um, serums that you put on my brows was not growing them back, so I just left them. And I've been taking supplements, I've been seeing a nutritionist taking supplements, which could be the reason. It's definitely not the chemo I had because my brows came back as much as they were going to come back. I've been doing red light and I've been using a lot of oxygen, been doing a lot of oxygen therapy, but whatever it is, it's made my brows thicker and I'm happy about it. Very happy about it. Just get that underneath. All in place. Maybe a little bit at the front. Give that another brush through. Just blends. My trusty Refi brow. To show that there are hairs there. I'm going back with Lisa Eldridge pencil. I cannot speak. I'm going back in with the Lisa Eldridge pencil. What is wrong with me? And I'm just gonna put some of it under the eye. Such a good colour pencil. Take my brush and smudge it. I like how rich and chocolatey it is. Now I really want to put the orange with that, but I'm not going to. It's nice as it is, isn't it? I shouldn't do that, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna take a little bit of mascara, pop that on my bottom lashes. Just taking a tiny bit of my brightening, uh, NARS brightening, under eye brightening, I'm just pulling that down into this middle part of my face here. Just wanna project it forward a tiny bit, because I feel like as I've got older, it's kind of sunk down a bit more. For bronzer, I'm actually going to use this beautifying um, tinted moisturiser by Sisley in number four tan. I really like it as a bronzer. It's very, very light and natural. I just want to take that on a brush and just run it through the tops of my cheeks. I took off the excess onto the top of my hairline because I didn't want to lay down too much on my cheeks. And then I'll go back up there and blend that through. So it disappears. It's just a really nice, almost like using a slightly lighter foundation over the top that gives a bronzing glow, which I very much like. Because it's a tinted moisturiser, it's just given a lovely kind of moisturising glow to the cheeks. For a lip line, I'm going to use Jones Road Tawny Nude. I don't ever like Jane's Rose products, but I really like the lip liner. And inside the lip, let's try this new Laura Mercier lipstick in Charm. Oh wow, that is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> but it goes really well with the eye. Wow. I bet it looks amazing on different skin tones, it just looks absolutely terrible on my skin tone. I'm going to go back in with the lip liner and see if I can save it. Oh, 
Now some people might think that's an amazing colour. And it is personal preference. It just looks too matchy for me. It looks like it matches the eye too much and then I just look a bit bleh. There's a blusher in this palette, so we'll use that blush. And then we've used all, the whole palette, which would be nice. Um, let's take that blush. Jesus, I look like a pumpkin. I'm not sure how I feel about this look. I'm just gonna powder just down the center of my face. So I don't look quite so shiny. I'm Dana. I feel like, what's her name when she's in, um, I'm sure she has a gold eyeshadow on this, like this, in, um, what's the film called? Ghostbusters. Let's have a look. I'm sure I'm Zoo. I'm Zool. Ghostbusters. Hey, when I Google the makeup, my sister comes up. And she looks just like her. And it is like the makeup I've got on. <laughs> but mine was unintentional. Let me see if I can zoom in on the actual Zool makeup. Come on. Come on, show me a clear picture of it. There aren't any clear. Hey, it is basically my pumpkin makeup. Which I didn't mean to do at all. Not even slightly. But um, you can see why I was getting those vibes. It might be because of the colour top I've got on as well. If it was off the shoulder, then I would feel like Ghostbusters. But I think it's quite in keeping with the time of the year. Isn't it? It's nice to do something different either way. I've quite enjoyed it. You know, it's actually quite nice. Um, yes, if you've enjoyed this, I do do videos, different videos on other channels so or other social media platforms. So you can follow me on Instagram, Nicola Chapman, or on TikTok, I'm Nick Chapman Haste, and here. But um, there are normally all different videos that I do on different platforms, purely to keep it fun and interesting for everyone. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And give me some feedback. Bye.